Welcome back to my the new series. This is the Master Me Mechanical Engineering Drawing series. Uh, in this video, at the end of this video, you should know how to draw a bolt or a shaft. You should also know how to calculate the thread for a bolt. You should also know how to draw a chamfer mm -hmm. and you should know the difference between a diameter and the radius. M12, a typical notation on board, you'll see a M12. The M here, but on this drawing, you'll see a M12 here. The M stand, stands for metric, that is the unit. And uh, the 12 means the length of the diameter taken from across the outside diameter of the M12. In other words, it is from outside here to down here, M12, the outside diameter. It is important to note that um, the, to determine the depth of thread, the depth of thread is determined by calculate by multiplying the diameter of the bolt or the shaft by 0 0.1. And in this case, the depth of thread would be 1.2 millimeters. It means therefore that if the outside diameter of this is 12, if we were to subtract 1.2 from 12, we would end up with approximately 11 millimeters. It means therefore the distance across here is 11 millimeters or 9.9 9.9, I'm .9. Oh, sorry, 10.9 roughly, or 11. If we look here, we will see a chamfer. A chamfer is basically the, it's a case where the sharp edge is removed from the join with a straight line. Like in this case, we remove the edge with a straight line. And the distance from here to here is the chamfer distance. If you look here as well, you'll see an arrow with a, a zero and a dot in a zero in a line in the middle. That stands for diameter. Here, we see, you'll note that R with, a, with six. The R stands for radius. Up here, there's a chamfer. Uh, there's an arrow here on this past paper. It should be chamf F E R. Here, the chamfer here is two. Um, this saying this is at 45 degrees, which means that the chamfer on this side and the first side is two. The chamfer on the second side is, a, is also a two. Or the distance here should be two. Or this is sloped at 45 degrees. With that being said, let us get into drawing this shaft or this adjustable screw in this case. What I'll be using, the command that we'll be using for this is rectangle, rectangle with chamfer, rectangle, and for here, I'll be using arc, start, and radius. And of course, for here, I will be using circle. To get started, the first thing I will do is draw, is draw a rectangle, which represents this section right here. And the horizontal axis is 20, vertical is 24. So rectangle, REC rectangle, enter. I need to change my construction layer. I then left click. In my case, I'm using at because I'm drawing with AutoCAD architecture. And so REC enter. Here, it will ask me to select if I want chamfer or fillet. In this case, I want chamfer. 
so I left click on chamfer and then left click my start point oh it will ask me to specify the first chamfer distance in this case I want the first chamfer distance to be 2 2 and the second chamfer distance I want that to be 2 as well And now, why did I choose two? I choose two because this is at, this is two here, and this is at 45 degrees. It means that both of them are equal. I then left click, then enter 20 to zero, comma, 24, Yeah, so I, so let me repeat this. Let me repeat this process. I first type R, E, C, for rectangle, enter. I have then choose chamfer. It is then ask me to specify the distance for this chamfer side as well as distance for this chamfer side. First chamfer is two, so I type two, enter E. It then asks me to specify the second chamfer distance. Second chamfer distance is also 2, so I type 2, enter. It then asks me to specify the first corner. I left click here, then drag. I then enter the x value and the y value. In this case, the horizontal, this horizontal value or the x is 20, two is zero, comma, vertical or y value, 24, 24, enter. And that's how this is generated. That's how we generate the outline here. Next step is to draw a line through this and one line there. So I type L for line, enter. Then left click here. Move down, left click there, escape, space bar or enter key to reactivate the last command. I have then left click here, left click there, escape. This part is done. Now there is a circle here of radius diameter 6. Yeah? It means, therefore, that the radius is 3. Now, two things I'll be teaching. I'll be teaching another command, which is how to find the center of an object by using M2P, or the middle of two points. M2P, or the middle of two points. So the first step is to activate circle. C for circle, and at this point, it asks me to specify the center. Now, my center falls in the middle of two points. Middle of here and here. Also, the middle of here and there. I could use two techniques to get the center of this. I could use object snap tracking, which is one, or M2P. However, if I use... M2P, or object, sorry, if I use object snap tracking, I would need to ensure that object snap tracking is on. I like to use M2P, it's quick and fast. So M2P, middle of two points. I want the middle, it's the middle of this point and that point. And just like that, my center is formed. Now, I need to state the radius or the diameter. In this case, they give us a diameter. I click on diameter, then type 6. 6. That is our drawing. Now, back to the drawing. The drawing states that the distance between here and there is 3 millimeters. So, 
How do you think we can establish that distance? Yeah, how do you think we can establish that distance? We can use two methods. We can draw a line, alpha line, left click here, and move out, type three, and that is that. Or we could use circle with two points. Now, this has been established. My next step is to draw this or draw this. Now, this is M12. M12 is 102 millimeters long. So I will draw a rectangle, length 102 by 12. So for that, I type REC for rectangle, REC for rectangle, press enter key, enter. Now we must ensure that we go back to chamfer and set these values to zero before we start anything. It is important to note that we must reset those values to zero. So here I left click, drag the horizontal value is 102, 102, comma, 12, 1, 2, and voila. Now this is drawn. And this is 102 millimeters by 12 millimeters. Now I'm going to move this. Left click onto this, type M for move. Enter. Now, where should we use as our base point? Now, I want the center of this to match the center of this, or to be joined to the center of this. So I left click here, and I then left click here. That is now done. Now, what else do we need? We now need this, yeah? We now need this, and uh, this is 102 plus 3 is equal to 105, so that is, that is 105 plus 15 is 120, so the length of this is 120 in total. Now the width of this, the width of this, if this if this is 112 and we take away one from this for the thread, one for this, this means that this is approximately 10 millimeters. Yeah? Because remember from here, from here, here is the depth of thread. From here to here is depth of thread. And if we take away one millimeter thread up there, one millimeter thread down here, we, that is two. So take away two from 12, we are left with 10. So this distance is 10. So our the rectangle now is 120 by 10. So we start by typing rectangle REC. Rectangle, left click and start. We then type our x value, which is 130, 130, comma, and 10, 10, and that is now it's gone. Now we then move this up. Once this is done, we left click on the circumference, type M for move, then enter key. Enter key. Now, the command bar says to specify, specify the base point. Now, we want the center of this here to match at this point right, right here, or to fit at this point. So we left click here as the base point, then we left click here to get that there and that is now drawn now i'm gonna move this 
uh, M remove enter. Left click here, and I'm dropping this here. That is done. Now we don't need this anymore, so we can delete that. Delete. Now we need to do one more thing. We need to add that curve here. Yeah, and that curve is radius six. Yeah, radius six. So we go and we use for this we use arc start end radius. So I'm going by arc. Click on arc drop down. Go down to start end radius. Click here. Click here for start. Here for end. Then we want a radius. If you notice, the command bar is asking us to specify radius. In this case, our radius is six. I type six and here we have it. This is now done. Done for the drawing, right? Once you have done that, I'm now gonna change this to the outline layer. Left click there. Outline. And I could add my dimensions to this, but I don't want this video to be too long, so I'll be stopping it here. Again, guys, if you like what I'm doing, like, subscribe.